guys, King Jad here, and welcome to another episode of Seven Scotland, my FIFA 14 career mod series. We begin by reviewing our league objectives. I'm on course for a clean sweep, having already achieved the set goal for clean sheets for the entire season, and it's only January. The transfer window isn't too exciting from my point of view, as you guys decided you'd rather see me stay with Sassuolo for the remainder of the season. The objectives for the next four league fixtures are given now, and we have a couple of tough games ahead, with Napoli and Inter looking particularly fearsome. First up though is an away trip to Livorno, but before all that I decided to spend some of those FIFA coins and upgrade my pro, give myself a fancy flick trait, a mental boost, passing boost, defence boost and a physical boost. Some may think it's a bit cheap to do this to increase my pro and career mode, but I don't give a fuck. To illustrate this I buy some black gloves, I'm a rebel! Back into career mode then, I make a couple of changes like enabling those random black gloves, also giving myself long sleeves, it is winter and it's a bit chilly. And now we go into our opening match with Livorno. After 27 minutes, I want a big header to boost my rating, but frustratingly Livorno opened the scoring when my fellow defenders cannot handle the 1-2 passing sequence between the two strikers, and Ermagard scores, or whatever his fucking name is, he scores the opening goal. After 55 minutes, I head away another pass to boost my rating after it dipped from conceding the goal, but no equaliser looks to be coming. In fact, a goal does come, but it's for Livorno. Bellingrini or whatever fucking strange names all over the place, but Belling Herry or something like that, tucking a shot in at an air post with 15 minutes left to seal the win. My tackle actually set that bastard up. So frustrating, but that's just that's just my luck in this game. The game ends 2-0 to Livorno, and my end game rating was a this, 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 it was a very uh, I can't even fucking talk. It was a poor fucking 6.3 rating performance. We then hit the transfer deadline day. Giant fucking who cares? I ain't going nowhere, and the day ends with just over 100 million pounds being spent on it. The league table shows Sassuolo still up in 12th, but a couple of wins would be great to maintain a safe distance from the bottom three. Losing to Livorno is a sore one to take, as they are relegation candidates themselves, but truth be told, we got what we deserved from that bastard game. I get an email that I'm chosen for Scotland's two friendly fixtures against Finland and Russia before we are home to league strugglers Hellas Verona. Defeat here would be unacceptable, so naturally, we start the game under intense pressure and concede a penalty when a cross finds nobody, but our defender randomly kicks a Verona player in the fucking back of the leg. And it's a fucking penalty kick, and Cassia finishes clinically. And we're losing at home. Bollocks. Right before half time, I block a shot from Cassia again before ushering the ball out of play, but my rating stays pretty damn low. Second half, and a long ball to our left finds Diego Farias, who finishes well to tie the game. After 81 minutes I win a tackle to help my rating more but it's still below 6 and we couldn't find a winner as the game ends 1-1. My end game rating sucked at 5.8 so let's just take a break from Sassuolo for now and play for the mighty and glorious Scotland. I am chosen to play against Finland and after 6 minutes I concede a penalty. Risky was through and goal, I had to take him out. A red card. We sim the rest of the match and I find out afterwards that the game actually ended 0-0 so I potentially saved us from losing. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Next up is the damn pesky Russians, and I'm given a chance to not get sent off immediately this time. In the 36th minute, I make a good side tackle and my rating benefits from this, and in the 40th minute, I head away across to lift it even more, now sitting at 7.5. In the 54th minute, I head forward a goalkeeping punt, and now I'm over 8 for my rating, and Scotland's perseverance finally pays off as they open the scoring after 64 minutes as Mackie buries his chance clinically. After 66 minutes I head away another cross and this is a man of the match type of performance I'm given, but my rating randomly dips in the final quarter of the game as full time blows and we leave Russia with a 1-0 victory. Well deserved too. The end game rating sat at 8.3 and I was indeed man of the match after all, so with that encouraging performance under my belt we return to Sassuolo for two big back to back league fixtures. First up Napoli, who are third as you can see on the table here, and then Inter who sit fourth. Both teams are definitely in that title hunt, we are playing for survival and they are playing for a championship so something has got to give in these final two games. We tried hard against Napoli, but fucking Hamshik's run wasn't picked up as he was played in and he converted to put Napoli ahead after 37 minutes. And things would get worse for us as well in the second half as Ed and Jekyll doubles the lead, sliding in to finish in a 6 yard box. As we enter the final minute, Maggio easily turns away from me to make it 3-0 and my rating, which wasn't too bad considering the scoreline, took yet another dent. And then I just stood still, holding left trigger, shielding the ball and Napoli didn't even try to win it back because they knew it was game over, plus it's the fucking AI, the computer. You can basically stand still with it and the computer won't try and win it back because it's that fucking retarded. 
Full time blue, Sassuolo fans are pissed and booed us off the pitch and we lose 3-0. My end game rating was 6.4 but I actually didn't do much wrong in right with that last goal being the exception, the, the exception to that. Let's waste no time at all and get fired into this inter game. We've got to go all the way to the San Siro to face the, one of the title favourites, Inter Milan. Now let's not forget, last time we played Inter, we nearly beat them, and the game actually glitched out on us. So, I mean, and, that, and that meant also I couldn't play the last like, half hour of the game in game, even though I was still on the pitch. I couldn't play the last half hour, and Jonathan got a last minute equaliser to deny a famous victory. So, we know we're capable of taking something away from this game at the very least. After 6 minutes I head forward and my rating is randomly 10 and then a corner kick is swung in and then I head it towards goal and Handanovic is forced to tip it over. From this corner I win yet another header and this time Handanovic easily saves it but it's a very bright start for myself. After 15 minutes I head away a deep cross and in the 29th minute I win yet another header from a corner forcing a good save from Handanovic. After 34 minutes I slide in to stop interscoring or at least I thought I did. Close inspection shows our keeper Pegolo actually diving in to parry it away. Bows behind him as a precaution as good goalkeeper no from Sassuolo shot stopper. Right at the start of the second half, a lofted through ball finds Alex who somehow squeezes a shot over Handanovic and Sassuolo are ahead at the San Siro. Inter nearly equalised though when Jonathan gets the better of me in the area. His shot hits the post, I pick it up and nearly walk it into my own net. It's a very scary moment but I somehow cleared the ball away and we survived. And then the first 10 minutes to go I pull up with some crap and I, I, I gotta dig deep though, I dig deep. I see it the rest of the game and we win. 1-0. As soon as the game actually blows a full time, my controller just fucked up completely, and it just goes. It just get right to the, the rating screen, which is a uh, promising 7.6. We deserved to win the match, which was the most rewarding feeling from that game. We get our clean sheet from the month, and the table shows us still 12th, but sitting on 28 points. It is looking more and more likely we may just do enough to stay up. There's a long way to go yet this season. This has been King Jad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.